Hey, what's up everybody? It's T-Bone here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legendary Game of Heroes. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about the three different bosses that you can fight uh, in uh, in this week's event, Time's End, and talk about their uh, skills. So typically in these uh, these type of boss events, uh, you're always going to have uh, two, two bosses that have the similar type of skill, and that is going to be the Dodge and Panic. So uh, Lyda in this case has dodge, which gives uh, her three turns where there's a chance for you to miss her completely with your attacks, and then panic, which greatly reduces the time you have to match your gems once it's activated. So uh, these are two things to watch out for. Now, uh, the one that's very important to note for this one, for this particular event, is the Chronos skill uh, for armor. Now, Chronos uh, is the main boss here, and at some at some point you're going to reach a level where uh, when he s casts his armor spell you're not going to be able to do any damage against it and I'm going to show you right now what I mean by that so I have a team right now uh, this is what I've come up with I've got two Vulcans, two Renbox, and a one Robin Hood to give me a total of uh, 24 uh, bonus uh, if I can match them all and this has served me okay in the past, but I'm going to take one key to show you what it's like uh, when I go up against Kronos uh, when he casts armor. So you'll get only one turn uh, to get your attack in before uh, he casts his spell. And I'm going to tr try and see if I can get as much as I can in here. And what you'll see here is uh, at this point, um, once the turn completes, he's going to cast his armor. And now what I'll do is do my best to get as much attack as I could possibly, and although I mismatch in here. And you'll see all of my attack just drops down to one. And this is what happens uh, in the... So when you have the armor spell, what happens is it increases the defense and the health of the unit so high and if your attack amount doesn't reach the level that is required to actually damage, or I, I should say, if your attack isn't high enough so that it goes beyond uh, the the health of um, of, the, of the unit, then all of the attack basically gets rendered, you know, useless and just drops down to one. So you can see after my initial attack, I haven't been able to successfully get any attacks in. And this actually um, applies even when I use my fine times boost at some point. So how do I mitigate against that? So if you don't have Athena, unfortunately, uh, you're going to have to be creative here because Athena, which is the this week's feature unit, she actually has uh, the spell to counter, uh, to dispel armor, and I'll show you here. So uh, let's wait for a second for Athena to show up here, and I'll show you her card. Unfortunately, I couldn't get her uh, in, in the pack, and uh, that's just the way it is. So Athena, in addition to her skills, also has a counter skill. Uh, so, so her counter skill is to dispel armor, which completely removes the armor uh, from the unit so that you can actually attack him again now. Because I don't have him, uh, I have other units that actually has that skill, although I did sell most of them for dust because they weren't uh, strong enough. So after looking around, I realized that I got this one unit that I was almost going to um, to get rid of, and I thought, you know, let's give it a try, and that is the Deep Moss Disciple with only 139 attack, but he does also have the ability to dispel armor. So let's go ahead and uh, add him back in the team, and let's see how we do in this case. So let's go back to Kronos. We'll use one key again just to show you what it's like. So let's go ahead and change this team. And I'm actually going to sacrifice one of my three times multipliers in this case uh, in favor of a unit that can give me um, the Dispel Armor skill. And this might seem counterintuitive, but in the long run, in, at least against Kronos, uh, I'm able to get some more attack in. Again, I'm just going to use uh, one key battle to show to prove my point. To just make a comparison between the two. Alright. Um, so that, uh, let's see. Okay, so we got the first match in. And then now we, what we want to do is uh, you'll see that he'll 
set up the armor. And then now you can see that the Deep Moss uh, Disciple has gone ahead and um, dispelled it. And so when I do my attack, you can see that it's going to be effective now rather than being uh, null bell at one attack. And then this will continue on for a couple of turns, so I'll get a few, few, few free turns without worrying about the, the armor spell being cast. And then I can focus solely on damaging him, although I do need to worry about my health. Um, but time is up at this point. So if you compare the difference now, so I'm able to get at least close to a million hip, uh, attack in compared to earlier where I basically got my first attack in and then got nothing. All right. So even though I, I uh, uh, changed out a unit that has some bonus for this one, I thought that it was worth it in my case uh, just to get him, uh, you know, just get myself some more uh, um, chances to attack. The other unit, uh, the other boss that's going to give you probably a hard time is going to be uh, the Letrous Sheriff uh, with a Panic skill, which really makes it tough on you to to you know get those big matches because you have less time. Uh, so if you have uh, some units that can uh, dispel Panic, in my case, uh, I have Lilith, and I'll show you Lilith here. Uh, so I've got her at five stars, um, waiting to uh, build up some more. Uh, of my dungeon coins so that I can get her to six stars, but she has the cure panic uh, skill. The only and the thing is that she does have uh, you know higher damage. So I can use her in my team to um, to attack. But this is one of the cases where I'm still able to get attacks in. Uh, I just can't uh, build up as big of attack. So I'm not sure if taking her out and losing my times three bonus is worth it. So I'm still playing around with that. But for sure, when I pick Chronos now, I try to substitute uh, my guy for Deep Moss, even though he's just a three-star character. Anyways, so that's it for me for uh, for this episode. I just wanted to talk about the team makeup uh, and also talk about the three bosses. So hopefully you're doing well in your event. Uh, hope you're having fun, and we'll see you next time. Take care.